Beijing, Guo, Kina, China. Here is 23-year-old Zheng Jin Guo in eighth place after the short program and part of the rapid rise of Chinese figure skaters. Each of the last two years in the free skate at Worlds, he's done two quads in this long program. Watch how light he is on his feet and watch how relaxed his body stays going into the jumps, which, which helps him be quick in the air because he has lightning quick reflexes. Axel. Wonderful distance on that. That is huge. <laughs> How effortless did that look? The interesting part was that it was a long jump. Mm -hmm. I mean, a jump is not, not only supposed to go up, it's supposed to go out. And he did. Watch how quick this is, his quad toe. Oh. A little far forward, but still hung on to it. Triple Lutz, triple toe. He threw in the triple toe that he didn't do after the quad toe because that was meant to be a combination in the quad jump. Well finished 12th at last year's World Championships. Had a better finish, though, at the Olympic Games, where he placed 8th. And he's 8th here, 8th here after the short program. Well, I, like the, I like the fact that he's wearing his wristwatch because most performers don't wear their wristwatches when they're performing. He's got some place to go. <laughs> that tells him how far into the program he is. <laughs> A little slower of an entry. The speed across the ice going into that wasn't as fast. That's why it wasn't as big as the first one. He's a brilliant athlete, just brilliant. The revolution, the height, the distance that he gets in his jumps is extraordinary. Unfortunately, there's not much excitement in the personality of his skating. That spin uh, didn't help him or add to the artistry of this program. Well, the interesting thing about him is when he gets tired and he misses jumps, he just pitches him forward a little bit. He doesn't fall like the other guys. He's like a cat who always lands on his feet. slowing down somewhat now. Four minutes, 30 seconds, the time for the free skate. And now he's got three rounds of competition to go through. He does look fatigued, and if he's going to try another quad, it's going to be coming up, and that is pretty late in the program. No, he did not. That spin just doesn't have any zing to it or position or style, and I think that'll hurt him in the second mark. 
Yeah, did you see the crossed eyes at the end? <laughs> and the way he looked over there, that's the first spark of personality he had in the whole program. That wristwatch didn't move fast enough, did it? That was a long four minutes and 30 seconds. Zheng Xin Guo of China, though. Well, one He's brilliant athlete. athlete. Yep. Right now, Timothy Gable has joined Leslie Visser backstage. Leslie? Terry, he's young, he's proud, he's happy, and he made history. Can you talk a little bit, Tim, about being the first to hit a qual sal triple combination? Uh, well, I knew going into this event after I landed the quad in qualifying, it was the first quad sal at a world championships, and uh, I knew if I did the quad triple that it would be the first of that, too. And I was kind of hoping to do two quads. That would have been the first to do two different quads in a program. But I was close, but not quite there. Did you feel it tonight? It seemed that you were so on and so confident out there. I did. I felt really comfortable this week. Uh, all my practices have been good. The warm-up was really good. And I just went out there knowing in my heart that I could, could do what was in my program. Well, he said he was never going to come to a Worlds until he had earned it. That he did. Congratulations. Back to you, Terry. When we continue from Helsinki, 18-year-old Takeshi Honda. <laughs> Zhengzhen Guo of China awaiting his mark. And this quadruple jump shows his athletic ability, even though he had a problem on the end. Look at the height and the distance. And he hung on to it. He did not splat. And this combination, a triple Lutz, beautiful height, wonderful revolution, stepping right down into a smooth, smooth triple toe. I mean, that's as good as it comes. Two sets of marks, the first one for technical merit. And as you look at those, remember, if he can finish in the top 10 overall, China will get two spots in next year's World Championships. And one of the judges that has been holding everything back has a very low marks has been the Slovakian judge. She gives him, or he gives him, a 5.6 at this point. And now the second set of marks for presentation 5.1 up to 5.5 the range, five, but good enough one, to put Guo in first five, place three, right now in terms of five, those that have two, skated here in the free skate. Five, five, and five, four. So, 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 so,